Hi guys, my name is Darasimi and I'm going to teach you how to factor, well, a method to factor polynomials. So we've gone over most of these methods and the last one, um, the last method that I'm going to teach you guys how to um, factor is the quadratic method or the quadratic factor using the quadratic formula. Um, the difference between the quadratic formula and the rest of these is that the quadratic formula doesn't really give you um, a simplified version or a different way to put um, the expression. Rather, like it gives you the answer right away. So like, if you use the quadratic formula to solve an algebraic expression, it's going to give you the answer right away. Instead of you having to simplify the algebraic expression using one of these methods and then solving for it, um, if you use the quadratic formula, you can solve it right away. Um, so, this is, as I said before, this is a method of factoring that is used if none of the other methods of factoring do not apply to a polynomial, but you can use it whenever you're stuck on a question and can't seem to find the answer. The quadratic formula gives you the answer in number form of a polynomial, and it is not a simplified version of it. So let's take this equation, for example. Um, in every single, you can only use the quadratic formula if um, the expression has three terms, by the way. So like one term, two term, and the third term, as I was saying. Um, so in terms like these, this will always be a, the um, number for, uh, let me start over this will be a this we b, and this will always be c so like the constant is c um the coefficient of the variable with one degree is b and the coefficient of the variable with two degrees is a so um when i say a b c you only take the coefficients you don't take a, a b you only take the coefficients you don't take the variables as well but for C, since there's no really variable, there's not really a variable, we don't have to worry about only taking the coefficient. You can just take the number. So this is the form that the quadratic formula is in. You just plug A, B, and C into this form, and you just get X. And you can get more than one answer for X. I feel like I should at that, because that symbol right there, right next to the B, is a positive and negative symbol meaning your answer can be both positive and negative. So you can get more than one answer for X, it is possible. And it is um, recommended that you memorize this because you're gonna be using it a lot, especially in like algebra class.